Um, hello, everyone. My name is Kyle. I'm from the University of St. Thomas. I'm a part of a team of three transfer admissions counselors. Uh, good to be here with all of you. So I'm going to talk about uh, St. Thomas in general and then highlight some new things we've got going on here. So we are Minnesota's largest private college. We're located in St. Paul. Uh, we have over 150 majors and minors. Um, some areas of study include business, engineering, education, health sciences, um, unique programs like digital media arts, lots of pathways and, and choice for students to choose from all in small class sizes here. Um, some new things that we're excited about for our transfer population is that we are now accepting the Minnesota transfer curriculum and the Associate of Arts degree. If students come in having completed those programs, uh, then they will have satisfied almost all of our general education, our core curriculum uh, here at St. Thomas. They have two more classes they'll need to take. So it satisfies a lot of requirements uh, that they have. Uh, we have also increased our transfer scholarship, all admitted transfer students are automatically given a scholarship. It's based on the GPA at the time that they are admitted. Um, if they improve their GPA, let's say they're applying now for, for fall, they get admitted, and then their spring grades come in and they've improved, they can submit some forms to us and we can potentially increase that scholarship. But right now the range is $10,000 to $30,000 annually, and that sticks with them until they graduate from St. Thomas. We also have a, a great uh, scholarship for anyone exploring engineering. We have four engineering degrees as part of a grant from the National Science Foundation. We've got a program called the Apex Engineering Scholarship Program that is up to $10,000 for admitted students. They must have a 3.0 GPA. They must major in one of those engineering fields. They have to have a FAFSA on file. And there's a priority deadline of May 15th. So they should apply to St. Thomas. Um, they should indicate that they're interested in engineering on their application. Um, and then we'll send them in, uh, information about how to apply for that additional scholarship. Uh, also very new at St. Thomas, we are starting a Bachelor of Science in Nursing program here as part of our Morrison Family College of Health. Uh, the first uh, intended pre-licensed nursing students will be starting at St. Thomas this fall semester. In the spring of 23, they will be applying for the program. We are selecting 50 nursing students. Uh, that will be a combination of students who are already on campus, uh, incoming first year students, uh, and transfer students. So I've gotten a lot of questions about that. It's still very new, so we have to figure <laughs> some things out. But uh, it is a four-year program. So anyone interested in nursing uh, at St. Thomas will be here for four years in total, they start this fall semester and then they're admitted to the nursing program. But in this, it's an exciting time. Uh, we are also an NCAA Division I uh, sports institution. That's an exciting change. This has been our first year as a D1 institution. Now we're one of two in Minnesota um, and we are playing, you know, North Dakota State University and University of Denver and uh, we're in four different sports leagues because that's complicated with hockey and football and everything else, uh, but it's a fun time. So uh, students can come here and, and engage in that D1 big time sports uh, athletics experience. Um, and then we're also uh, groundbreaking a new science uh, building. It's actually a STEAM complex, so STEM plus arts. It's called the Schoenecker Center. It will be located on Summit Avenue. That will be opening in uh, 2024. So it'll house some arts programs and some uh, science and engineering programs. So that will be exciting. As far as the admissions process, we accept applications for every fall and spring semester on a rolling timeline. Uh, you, students can use the St. Thomas application. If they're applying for fall, they can also use Common App. Uh, we'll need you know, high school transcript, college transcript, uh, and then the Dean of Students form, which trips a lot of students up, uh, asks about their discipline issues. Yep, seen some head nods. Um, and uh, pretty much as soon as they apply, you know, we get all those components, we can make a decision uh, on that application. Uh, we don't have like deadlines, but I will say if anyone's applying for this fall semester, May 3rd is when course registration opens for the fall semester. So if they're applied, admitted and confirmed prior to that, uh, then they can register for classes right away. 
Uh, thank you so much, everyone, uh, and have a good rest of your day.